Well, this is a first. Look, I have to be honest. Sometimes it's not always about what I think I really, really need. Sometimes it's just about what I really, really, really want to check out. And this is a thermal cam brought to you by Top Dawn. It is the TC002. And yes, this is literally a thermal vision of me because I'm reviewing a thermal cam because it is kind of fun to play with. <laughs> What's up YouTube, Jason here with By My Bits. I swear the entire video will not be all of this. I just wanted to start this out because I have no idea whatsoever. But hey, in today's video, I'm talking about a thermal camera sent over to me by Top Don, and it has probably been one of the more fascinating things that I have checked out in a very long time, mainly because I've never had a thermal camera before in my life, and now I'm just super like kind of obsessed with it. As you can see, it is a very tiny, small little device built specifically, at least this model is for an iPhone. And yeah, I'm sure there's like Android things out there, but today's video is about this particular one that just happens to fit on my iPhone. Now, as you can probably tell, this thing is not super high resolution, 256 by 192, but you can take pictures, you can record videos, you can change colors on it, you can do different spectrums. You can even like point it at a spot, right? And you can say, hey, watch that spot and give me a graph with a little line and things and tell me if it changes. So like if you're an HVAC guy or something else that would need that tool, that is an option. I gotta be honest with you. So far, my testing with this has just been limited to me walking around and looking at everything and realizing the different and various heat signatures that everything gives off because I've never actually done that before. And I realized how much I've never actually done that before because I couldn't stop doing it. So that's where we are right now. And I'm gonna give you this number that I have absolutely no idea what it means, but it has a 40 MK thermal sensitivity, and it can detect different ranges from four degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 1022. You can take the pictures, you can do the video, but you can also monitor multiple different zones. So you can monitor multiple spots at the same time, just in case you're actually utilizing this as a tool and you want to actually see what they do. So for instance, let's just say hypothetically, you're an amateur hobbyist electrician and you want to play with live wires for whatever reason you want to do that. You shouldn't. But if you did and you had a camera like this, then you could hypothetically go through, look at different wires and actually see the heat radiating from them and know which ones are, you know, more active or more recently active than others. It's not going to give you a live test. So definitely don't depend on that for your life. And I don't know what, you know, somebody would actually use that for in the real field, except from maybe seeing what outlets are about to catch on fire, which, hey, that makes sense. For me personally, I like going up and checking out my HVAC. I went around my house and I was looking at all the corners and the cracks and seeing where heat was coming in and basically seeing how inefficient stuff was and, and where that was interesting. So like if you have problems in your house keeping cool, not going to say any names, Jason. <clears throat> so it's an easy way to go through your house and seeing where all that heat is escaping or maybe the heat is coming in, depending of which, what time of year it is, where you are. Anyways, let's move on. If you've never messed with one of these before, it's just fun to walk around and look at people, look at things, look at animals, right? Like take me, for example, right? You can tell my hands are cold right? You know that everyone knows your hands are cold, but when you see it on the screen and it's just such a big difference, when you see your nose be weird or let's see, uh, okay, let's see if it'll do it. Uh, okay. Well, anyways, some people have like really cold belly buttons and it's just kind of funny. I don't know why it is, but I had a little bit of fun with this. Let me, let me focus here. Now the TC002 has a negative two or positive two Celsius uh, variation degree of error. It has a 25 Hertz refresh. So when you're going around and everything, it's like basically a cinematic movie, but not quite as great. And you get to choose from 11 different color palettes, just in case the standard like this is not your thing. Let, let me show you. Let's say this is your thing. I don't know. There's there's a few different options. It's gonna get a little wobbly, but look at this. Look at that. You can change it just like that. I don't. You, you can also accidentally hit the back button and then it resets it. 
By the way, when you go to use this thing, it plugs right into your iPhone. If you use something like a case, which you probably should, it will not fit on the case. But thankfully, this is literally still calibrating. It takes like a few seconds. It does come with a uh, lightning extension cable and just a little cleaning thing, right? So nice little cleaning thing. This actually is kind of cool because it allows you to walk around, hold your phone, and then just kind of point the thing that you want instead of having to move your phone around like a weirdo. So this is not just a convenience of not having to take off a case, but it's also a really big convenience to actually want to use it for something productive. So that is nice. And on top of all that comes with a very nice carrying case, just in case you want to take this on the adventure of your professionalism, totally going to use it for professional things and nothing weird or anything like that. Hey, it's done. Just in case that got cut off because I accidentally closed out. These are the different ones. We got this color. We got this color. We got this color. We got this color. We got this not color. And then we got this opposite not color. So, yeah. I kind of like this one though, because it gives you the purple thing and I like the purple and the red, I don't know why. But one of the cool things I really like about this, especially if you're trying to use this in a professional manner, you want to go and you want to scout and you want to look at things, you want to make sure or look at leaks that I was mentioning earlier, is that you can actually do a picture in picture, do an overlay, that way when you're walking around and everything looks super weird because it's in you know, thermal infrared and you don't really know what it is. If you're doing something like that, it does have the overlay option. That way you can at least know what you're looking at while you're looking at it. So let's just say you're doing a thing for somebody and you're like, hey, let me show you all the leaks in your house and where your air conditioning is escaping. Then you can record that video, have an overlay, and they'll know exactly where it is and not sit there most of the time just kind of guessing at what they're looking at. But it is pretty cool though. When you look at things like your air conditioning unit or your dog, you know, it's just very interesting. I mean, you can do the lines and you can measure, you know, exact boxes of things and different dots and stuff like that. Yeah, that's all cool, but you can, you know, also do picture in picture and make fun of people's belly buttons. So, you know, what's more important is completely up to you. Now, as you can probably tell, this thing is small. I mean, it's 2.8 by 0.55 by 1.65. I actually got that mixed up, but you get the idea. It's small, it's lightweight, it's got a nice carrying case. I would recommend putting an Apple tag in here. Like, a, it, it, I mean, it makes sense, right? You already have an iPhone. Apple tag's like 30 bucks, put that in there. Just so you can find that. Just a little pro tip. I may or may not have lost that in my car already. Now I've had this thing for about a week and I got a few key takeaways, things that I've learned about it. Uh, one, the refresh rate, they say it's 25 Hertz. You go through there and it usually looks pretty good, especially if you're in just a good environment like this, right? That looks pretty good. But sometimes when you're making dramatic changes, like let's say you're going from a cool inside of your house to a hot garage, or you're just kind of moving around a lot, sometimes it can start to stutter a little bit. Uh, it does this little thing where it does the shutter and it kind of recalibrates a little bit. Sometimes that can stutter the screen. So it's not that it's actually freezing or anything. It's just doing its, you know, measuring calibration thing. A lot of those options are adjustable in there. You can do a manual adjustment in there just in case you do change and it hasn't updated, everything's blown out, or maybe you can't see anything. Also, remember when I said this thing can go up to like a thousand degrees? That's cool, but it actually has a couple different settings. The first one is just whatever to 170 degrees and then past 170 up to a thousand is an entirely different setting. So I'm sure that's completely normal. I just, you know, have not had a reason to take it above 170. I kind of want to, I don't know why, but it's there and now you know. Also another thing is that while you're going in there and you're adjusting the colors, you can adjust like your contrast and sensitivity, stuff like that. I've pretty much figured out that most of the time, 50%, which is what all the default, defaults, 50%, which is what the defaults are, is pretty much the best sweet spot for most use cases. I've tried adjusting them and I really just haven't found a reason or a use case or an improvement. It's all just been me screwing it up, but your mileage may vary. And I mentioned it earlier, the boot up. So when it boots up, it's got to do the calibrate. So it'll do a, a series of shutters, like it'll open and close. You can actually physically hear it click and it does take a few seconds to do that. I think it's only like five seconds, but it feels like, you know, 50 seconds. It's not really, but again, it's absolutely normal. Just keep that in mind that if you are going to whip this out to show somebody real quick, you might want to give yourself like four or five seconds of foreplay before you do it. That way you are completely ready to show them their cold belly button.
Now, all of this is controlled by an app. You have to launch the app, connect this to your phone, which that's pretty much about it. Just need the app and plug it into your phone. And then the app launches up and then you can launch it directly from there. That app is called Top Infrared and it has not required me to sign into anything or register for anything. It just literally let me launch the app and play with the infrared settings. So I'm happy about that because I hate things that make you sign up for stuff. So that's cool. Big shout out to Top Don for sending this over to me for review. I actually thoroughly enjoy it. And I really hope that after I get done playing with it randomly all the time, that I can actually put it to good use. I want to use it for things like computers. I want to be able to look in a computer and see what heat spots are coming out of where. For example, if I have a bunch of hot air coming out of one and not much hot air coming out of the other side, I want to know if I have an imbalance or some kind of weird airflow thing. I don't know if that's actually going to be useful. I've never needed it before, but I'm excited to at least try and see if I can put this thing to use and actually benefit from some weird kind of thermal imaging video sensor thingy that I never knew I needed. Well, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or complaints, leave those in the comment section down below. As always, I will link to this product in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe and have yourself a great day. You see, this is what this is what I, I literally put this thing on a little tripod and I just like mess with it. And if I I'm not there's there's no guarantee that I'm gonna be able to do this, but if I can sneak up on the cat, I am definitely getting the cat up here. So you just just hold on. I don't she, she's sitting right there. She's not suspecting me, but she always kind of feels it. Hold on. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. You want to make a thumbnail? You want to make a thumbnail? Oh, you want to make a thumbnail?